Let's kick off the show now with the Atisalat Prize in Literature. We started off three years ago. It's aimed at celebrating literary creativity across Africa. Now the 2015 edition held recently and Festin Mwanza from the Democratic Republic of Congo emerged winner at the third edition which was held in Lagos, Southwest Nigeria. Whenever the literary world is being celebrated, it always pulls a gathering of creative minds. And this event organized by Etisalat Nigeria was not different. It's the third edition of the Etisalat Prize for Literature, assembling creative minds from all over Africa under one roof in Lagos. To set the ball rolling is the Chief Executive Officer of Etisalat, Matthew Wilshire, speaking on the objective of the event. We're here to celebrate a tremendous wealth of literary talents, not only in Nigeria, but in Africa as a whole. And as has been mentioned, this Etisalat Prize is the first ever Pan-African Prize that celebrates first-time published writers of fiction books. And we're in our third year. Uh, it was launched originally in 2013. As a company, we've been going eight years, and we've had to struggle to fight against uh, better established, better funded companies and, and, and operators. And so to do that, we've had to innovate and we've had to change. And so diversity is something that is very true in the literary world, and diversity is something that we embrace, and it helps bring new innovations, whether it's uh, uh, new innovations in, in mobile money or in um, content services or indeed in the way we, we, we deliver our, our pricing and data. I know I could get lost. Before announcing the winner in the Flash Fiction Competition category, the bandstand rendered some good music from some of Nigerian great musicians for the listening pleasure of everyone. Oh, I'm already gone, so just pray for me. I'm already gone, so just pray for me, pray and find my way. The award moment started with the announcement of the winner in the Flash Fiction category. It is my pleasure to announce the winner of this year's Zalat Prize for Flash Fiction 2015. The winner is a short story titled Gone by Kuti Ujolake Mojibbe. Congratulations, Kuti Ujolake. Kuti, congratulations. How do you feel right now? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I'm speechless. Wow. Okay, well, that is absolutely fantastic. So, Kuti, do come on. Before the big announcement for the winner of the Atisala Prize in Literature, Efe Paul Azino thrilled guests with his good delivery of poetry. Tapestries of our humanity woven into beautiful colors of difference and diversity. This is who we are. Children of histories punctuated by conferences. Divided by cartographers in Berlin, defended by storytellers in Makarere. The fun continued with a drama presentation. Do you listen to this? Kevin was detained today. His Dela is dead. He lives alone with his mommy. Mrs. Van Beek isn't well, Dela. She can't walk to the shops or anything. So I promised her that I'll stop by tomorrow to see if she needs anything. And mommy says I must stay away. Aish! Does anybody in this house listen to me? The sign on the door states, entry inadvisable for the poor, for the wretched, the uncircumcised. Historians, archeologists, cowards, 
psychologists, the insolvent, and all you young souls younger than the age of four dressed man. And the moment came to announce the winner. The panel of judges led by Professor Ato Kwesen took to the stage to do just that. The winner of uh, 2015, Etisalat uh, Literature, for, for, for Literature 2015 is... Rose, please. Suspense. <laughs> Okay. The winner is Trap 83! Fistin Mwanza Mujila from the Democratic Republic of Congo was awarded the prize for his debut novel titled Tram 83, beating two other South African authors, Penny Busseto, The Story of Anna Pia, told by herself, and What Will People Say by Rihanna Rousseau, to the coveted uh, prize of right fifteen thousand pounds. Check from Matthew. They were selected as finalists out of a hundred entries received. Can you give me a love you? Can you give me a it is a big news for me because uh, we have many, many beautiful rom romans for uh, Etisla Prize. I'm very happy to, to have the, this prize. And um, it is a, 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 a beautiful news and big news for me, uh, for, my, uh, for literature, for Africa, and I'm very happy. This event is helping us to really uh, have a different perspective in front of the customer and customers are appreciating quite a lot. It's uh, uh, the fourth year in a row that we are the preferred brand uh, among the uh, telecommunication uh, industry, which is uh, an excellent uh, achievement and events uh, like the price of literature is helping in this direction. <laughs> Etisalat Nigeria is proud to use this Pan-African Prize for Literature to recognize and celebrate the amazing work done by these unique individuals all over Africa.